exercises in the um, commands. Let's do number seven, eight, nine. Number seven, Quinangit Chi. Chi makes it a strong command, and Quinangit is help it. So, and this does not have a subject pronoun, so it would just be help. Exclamation point. Number eight. Quaning it chi. Chi makes it again another strong command. And quaning it is run. Quaning it. it. This does not have, uh, this is an intransitive verb with no subject pronoun. So it could translate to he, she, they, or it runs. She runs. Um, number nine, quent. Quent means look, and qui is a polite command, so you wouldn't use an exclamation point, and quent is look at it. This is a uh, quent. It's a transitive verb. But it doesn't, it also doesn't have any subject pronouns, so it would just be uh, with this polite command, it would translate to like, um, you should look at it, you ought to look at it. Let's do seven over here. Walk, the word for walk is stung, so you would translate this to stung chi. Number eight. Wake it. Word for wake is schut. Schut. And this has an exclamation point, so it'd be schutchi. Schutchi. So let me see, let me see, let me see. This one's easy. Yes or no question is any question that can be answered with a yes or no. Like, did you go? Are you going to take it? To form a yes or no question column, you would just put this you, you would put a you right after the verb. If there are any tense makers, the you goes before it. Tense makers would be the future past tense. It would go before it. The you would go before it, just like this these two sentences down here. Uh, but the tense maker is optional if the context makes it makes it clear. These particles are never stressed. The U is never stressed. And we've also decided that because the U clearly marks it as a question, the sentence as a question, that it's unnecessary to put a question mark when writing in column because some people might mistake it as a glottal. So we decided to opt out of using that in our column, which I prefer. Some people don't, but let's listen to the models. Are you going? Yeah, out. Yeah, out. Are we going to take? Quite close. And uh, did you go? This one has the yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Are we going to take it? What do we test? And off to our Quinali. 3.2. Oh, I ought. Oh, I said. Oh, I stung out that. How quality is done? And our exercises, we'll go over three questions. We'll do the first three. Hachi ut. Hachi is know it. This makes it a question. And is you. So did you know it or do you know it? Sorry. Hachi ut. Do you know it? Nutkung is the word for dive. U. This makes it a question. Hi, you all. Do you all dive? 
do you all dive? Sa et. Okay, sa et utsat. Sa et is lift it. U, question maker. Sa, future tense. And you, this would be, will you lift it? Sa et utsat. Over here. Are we going to run? Are we going to run? Run would be the word, so quanning it. And then it's a question, quanning it, ooh. And it says, are we, so that would be future. Quanning it, ooh, tsa. And then, st, we. Quanning it, ooh, tsa, st. Quanning it, ooh, tsa, st. Are we going to run? Did I sleep? So our verb would be eat. Then it's a question, eat, ooh. And then it's did, so that would be our past tense. Eat, ooh, ya. And then I, sin. Eat, ooh, ya, sin. Eat, ooh, ya, sin. Did I sleep? Are you holding it? Are you holding it? Holding it would be quit. Quit. This is a question. So quit u. Quit u. And uh, and you. A pronoun. Are you holding it? Quit ut. Quit ut. Quit ut. So you can go over this yourself, translate these sentences, and if you want to go above and beyond, it asks you to write 10 column yes or no questions on your own that are not listed up here. Um, if you want, I will, you can screenshot this, use, um, let me see, you can use this book, our column grammar book, and we are on page... 28, section 3.2a and 3.2b. If you have any questions, email me at harmony.arakawa at ella.org. And I will email you back. Send me a video if you'd like so I can hear your pronunciation. All right, quite.